All right. New way to power up your characters right now. I'm live and everybody is in chat like, yo, that looks great. Ah. Okay. Let me check solar decks. Uh, I'm gonna, okay. All right, nothing, n nothing from Solar Decks. All right, let's 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 check out let's check out this way, okay? Oh Jesus! Level twenty link slots, a new way to proper characters, a new quest type. So stock up on materials needed for the. All right, new Sinkaimon, plan future updates, new accessories. All right, that's all vague. Let's take a look. This is big. Bona. Bona. Hold on. 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 Hold on, hold on. New bonus abilities will be added with version 12.0 update. Bonus abilities are extra abilities that you can choose for a character. You can set a maximum of two bonus abilities for each character. The first bonus ability slot unlocks when you power up uh, a, all the characters link slots level 15. And the second bonus ability unlocks when your character's power up link slot level 20. What? One bonus ability can be set in each bonus slot. However, the same bonus ability cannot be applied twice. Some abilities have a limit to their maximum effectiveness. If combined, uh, the effect of a bonus ability for the maximum effect of any soul traits. And eight skills character can attain by fully upgrading their soul trait exceeds the limit for a given ability. The relevant bonus cannot be applied for the character. So basically what that means is you can't exceed a threshold of a certain amount. Meaning like you can't have a strong attack recharge link and just grab a strong attack recharge link skill is what I'm presuming this to be. Okay. No RNG. Wow, bro. Okay. The maximum uh, character link slot level will increase from 10 to 20. Increasing character link slot level to 20 will increase the stats. The base character inherent from the link slot characters to 30%. Coins and link slot potions, super link slot potions and drop with the same attribute are required to increase level beyond 10. Oh, okay, damn. So we need all that to raise them. Okay. We will also be introducing a new quest type so players can acquire super link slot potions. Oh, that's a super link slot potion. A new quest? Oh my god, y'all. This means this means new IZ. This means new IZ. I'm gonna put weak and deep as every unit bags. Okay, let, let's see. Inheritance trials. Oh, inheritance trials. Have the iron skin ability. They suffer a reduced amount of damage from attacks. However, this effect is nullified when the enemy is suffering from a status ailment. You can check which enemies have iron skin ability in the notes. So, bro, set bonus abilities. I really, really wish uh, we had some information about this from Soul Dex. This is absolutely massive, and I truly want to break down every facet of this right now while we have it. That's what I'm that's what I want to see Gino. I'm trying to see what abilities we can choose. I mean, but you can see right here, bro. Yo. 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 If you can choose guard break. If you can choose guard break. I need to relax because like listen y'all. If you can choose guard break, throw every tier list out the window. If you can equip guard break as a skill, 
throw every tier list out. Yeah, if Sharpshooter, there's no way Sharpshooter and Marauder would be allowed. But, so I don't believe that. But if they will allow Guard Break. Okay, so the maximum character link slot levels will be increased from 10 to 20. Increasing a character's link slot to level 20 will increase the stats, the base character inherits from the link slotted characters to 30%. Coins and link slots, potions, and super link slot potions. And droplets of the same attribute as the base character are required to increase link slot levels beyond 10. Use rainbow link slot potions. So there are super link slot potions getting added to the game. This means so it appears that this inheritance trial will be where you can acquire these super link slot potions. Which this is kind of annoying if like because if you can't. So you're going to have to farm new link slots. Your old link slots are not enough. So someone like me or the OGs, the vets, that have thousands of link slots saved up, is that going to help? Is there a conversion of super link slots, of normal link slots to super link slots? Because if you take a look right now, you could clearly see in the diagram that there are rainbow super link slot potions. But if you take a look, like, bro, I have like 25,000 rainbow potions. So, like, are these just going to only be good to take character to level 10? These are the type of things that we need to be thinking about. Now, this going to put uh, extra emphasis and onus on people being able to beat this new content. Guys, a lot of you guys were not playing, but when IZ first came out, the content was absolutely crushing, okay? Now, you guys are giving me some absolutely crazy ideas, okay? You have the potential of adding Havoc, of adding Long Stride, of adding Guard Break. We know that we can defense and hidden enemy skill will 100% be in the skill pool, all right? So let's just take the... Um, the rest of the news and let's see if we got anything else get out of the door What's coming up base bonus abilities feature? I guess that's pretty much it. This is this is <laughs> Yo, this is like the biggest update we've ever gotten 45,000 of every type 45 40,000. Yeah Yep Yeah, bro I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything. Okay, so it says that this will be added version 12.0, right? Now, let's just see where we are as far as the future updates. I just want to make sure. Like, just so we have an idea. Okay, virtual. Late King March. Bro, this stuff is coming late March. New way to power up characters. New quest type. So the new quest type will be to the corresponding link slot mode for the new quest type. And something else to consider. Will link slot potion characters work with super link slots? Are, are they going to be another round of super link slot characters? Is that where we're going to next? <laughs> The thought of, of me potentially having to summon for Pot Ken to be able to do this is like kind of triggering. Okay. <laughs> 550 droplets to max each slot. And a new Sinkaimon quest. So we're getting new way to power up characters, the new quest type, and the new Sinkaimon quest before the end of this month is over. And. New accessories are coming later on down the line. So what I always do whenever we get notice of new accessories, I start stacking and saving my accessory tickets. When bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So so accessory tickets are being saved. Hopefully once the new stuff drops, if it's good, we'll pull these and maybe we can get something new. But like I said, man, 
This is looks to be the most insane update. It to me in black and white print. It it's telling me that you can choose your ability. It literally says you can pick abilities. Okay, bonus. There are extra abilities that you can choose for a character. You can set a maximum of two bonus abilities to each character. The first bonus ability slot unlocks when you power up a, power up a character's links are levels to level 15. Second ability unlocks when you get to slot 20. Okay, so this literally tells you right here. Some abilities have a set maximum effectiveness. If combine, uh, if the combined effect of a bonus ability and the maximum effect of any soul traits and its skill or skills of a character can attain by fully upgrading their soul tree exceed the limit. For a given ability, the relevant bonus ability cannot be applied to that character. So what this literally is saying is that you, bro, there's going to have to be a nice list, bro. Is it possible to make Thousand Blower eyes and OP? Nope, because you can't, you can't save range collision, bro. That's what I mean. This further stresses the fact that your kit is the most important thing i promise you if i can put long stride on whatever character i want and havoc or guard break so so with this i would imagine you can also get an additional berserker because i think that's why specifically stating that some abilities cannot exceed a maximum effect so i would think that maybe you can even select berserker now I, I now now I don't think they'll let you choose frenzy or flirt, right? That would just be too powerful because then that would flip the entire game upside down, okay? So I doubt some like flurry or frenzy or uh, marauder or sharpshooter will be on the table. Maybe guardbreak will be off the table. It's so so powerful, okay? Um, if if guard break is on the table, it's an easily best. Weakened defense is top tier. Um, Havoc is top tier. Man, this is going to make a lot of content for the game, for sure. Yeah, I agree. IAX, I agree. I agree. So something like Berserker won't be able to exceed a certain amount. Maybe like 70%, maybe... You know, maybe 40% or 60% if you have a status ailment. I don't know if the same restrictions and limitations for status ailment or not status ailment will still retain. But this is massive news and this is right around the corner. So with that being said, make sure you save your resources and your droplets. Selling them for 3,000 gold ain't the way no more. So I guess we're going to just end the video here and if anything else comes up, just stay tuned, man. Till next time, Private Nation. I do love y'all. But I'm out.